Hello, welcome to the Biostock Studio here at Medicam Village in Lund. Today we're taking a closer look at Clinical Laser Thermia Systems, a Lund-based medtech company developing and selling products for the minimally invasive treatment of cancerous tumors as well as other indications. I'll be speaking with CEO Dan Mogren as well as VP Clinical Affairs Hoda Taufik. Dan Mogren is with me in the studio right now. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. Uh, so I'd like to begin by uh, asking you to summarize the Q2 quarterly report, uh, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, what we're particularly pleased with um, is that we've had a new share issue uh, that we finalized in May. And the interest among shareholders was fantastic. Um, we also discovered that there is now an interest that goes beyond Sweden, beyond even Europe. And we have uh, new international investors on board CLS, which we're very happy with. Um, we have run into an issue with a sterilizer, our sterilizer of our sterile, sterile disposable products. Um, uh, they lost their certificate. This has have, have a negative effect on CLS during this period. Um, we have reacted very quickly to this and we are confident that we find a new resolution to this quite quickly. Um, also pleased with that we have a clinical trial that received its regulatory clearance. Um, it's a trial that runs at the Magdeburg University Hospital in Germany. Um, it's now ready to start. So it's not all negative, it's, it's both very positive news for CLS during this period of time. Mm -hmm. well, glad to hear that, absolutely. Um, so now I'd like to discuss the second generation of the Tromberg, uh, Tromberg system, which has the EC certificate for use in the EU. Could you briefly tell us uh, a little bit about the steps forward for commercial launch uh, and how you work to make the system re relevant for broader use? Sure. Uh, both our commercial team as well as our clinical team are actively working on the market to generate new leads. It's leads both in, in collaborations with hospitals as well as leads, commercial, strict commercial leads. Um, so the outcome of that has been very successful during this period of time, uh, even though we've had some of the restrictions that we've seen related to the COVID. Um, in addition to that, um, we're also going to market um, uh, the products through other um, sources and other, and other means, which means we are also uh, participating in upcoming events such as conferences and so forth. A, a lead time from start to finish, um, when you have new contacts in the hospital, is about two to four months. Um, and so we're actively working on those lead times and making them happen. Um, it's also a, a clinical program that we have in place um, that will be talked about later by, by Hoda. Uh, to support uh, our activities in the field and support the uptake and broader use of the systems um, in Europe and, and elsewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, uh, your, your CLS is also in, currently in the process of filing a um, uh, 510k clearance in the in the U.S. Yes, we are. Uh, and, and this is for the second generation of the Tromberg system. Right. Uh, so, could you tell us more about the status there? Sure. I think um, our shareholders. Uh, by now, I most likely understood that it's, it's a relatively complicated submission. Mm -hmm. um, the product that we are submitting uh, consists of, of different parts uh, that interacts with other equipment. Um, however, the submission uh, date that we have communicated earlier, which is at the second half of this year, the half that we're in now, still stays in our, in our target. So we, we anticipate to submit this half of 2021. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, uh, well, lastly, uh, you, you mentioned going to conferences, uh, and I know you're hoping to attend a number of non-digital uh, conferences in the coming months. Yes. Um, what goals have you set for yourselves there? Well, the, the primary goal for us, obviously, is to launch the second generation of the Tronberg system into these conferences and to provide the necessary support for the commercial activities that we have out in the market and our commercial team, but also for the clinical team. Um, we communicated earlier this year uh, that um, the company will be uh, expanding on its clinical activities. So the, uh, the exhibition is a perfect platform uh, for that kind of communication during these conferences. And, and the conferences that we're targeting are the conferences that covers uh, treatments of prostate cancer. This is the primary, primary conferences that we'll be focusing on in Europe and, and U.S. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Dan. It was a pleasure having you on. And now we're happy to welcome Hoda Taufik, VP Clinical Affairs at Clinical Laser Thermia Systems. 
Hoda, Hoda joined CLS uh, earlier this year, and she brings a lot of experience and knowledge within clinical affairs in the medtech and pharma industry. Welcome, Hoda. Thank you for ha of having me here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'd like to begin with uh, asking you, what has been your focus at CLS so far this year? So when I started at CLS, the first focus was to establish the relationship between CLS and the key opinion leaders in the medical community mm -hmm. um, so that the key opinion leaders would get to know it and uh, get acquainted with the uh, technology. And the second focus was to start the clinical development plan, um, again, uh, to establish uh, the uh, technology in uh, the market, in the medical community, and explore a new indications for further developing the uh, technology. Mm -hmm. uh, well, could you in brief describe CLS's clinical program? Uh, in simple words, yeah. the clinical program of CLS is a very innovative program and it is built on two pillars. The first pillar is uh, to establish the, um, the technology uh, within the medical community for the already CE marked uh, indications uh, via field observations. Mm -hmm. And so the, 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 the user get acquainted with the, the technology. The second pillar is to develop the technology in new, completely new indications, for example, in brain tumor, and thereby achieve CE mark in this indication according to the MDR, the Medical Device Regulations. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, well, uh, during the second quarter, uh, a clinical trial was approved regarding prostate treatment. Um, and this was at the hospital in Magdeburg. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me a little bit more about this trial? This trial is an uh, investigator-initiated trial, um, actually derived by the uh, University Hospital of Magdeburg, and it absolutely fits in our program because it is in an indication, which is prostate cancer, which is approved. The uh, doctors um, get, got to learn more about the use of the technology, and as soon as they get acquainted, they can then use the technology in the commercial setting. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, well, thank, thank you for explaining that. Um, so last question, finally, uh, what milestones can we look forward to from CLS this year? The next milestone uh, would be the announcement of um, a clinical trial within the new indication in brain tumors in a very well-known and prestigious uh, hospital in Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay, very exciting. All right. A any other milestones that uh, come up, maybe? Uh, not for this year, but there are a lot of interesting news which we hope to announce by in the, in the next um, month and maybe in the beginning of next year. All right. So a lot of exciting things to come. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again for joining us, and uh, we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much.